Jolieville is set on Kings Island in the River Nile and is accessed by a bridge on the land side of the island. Jolieville is more of a complex than a hotel and over the last few years there's been a lot of work in adding new rooms and amenities to the island. For those who've been here before, one of the first things you notice on arrival is that the old reception is now a restaurant. A new reception has been built and it is absolutely enormous, but it actually works as a reception, lounge and bar area. Just off a of reception is a nice selection of shops and a bank which comes in very useful as you're four kilometres from town. The hotel run a fleet of golf buggies and it is an excellent way of getting around what is a very large island. If you're staying in one of the new rooms at the southern end of the island, then the buggies are a necessity for that is a very long walk. The original rooms are now classified as the standard room, but these are very clean, they're very comfortable, and they have all the amenities you need for a holiday. As I've said, the island is enormous, and a walk around its perimeter could take on average around 45 minutes. Of course your holiday can be as relaxed or as active as you wish. Some people use the perimeter track as a jogging track. If it gets too hot when you're walking around, there are plenty of places to take shelter from the sun. Depending what time of the year you go, breakfast can be taken either inside or al fresco. <laughs> On the riverfront of the island, you'll see the cruise ships plying their trade to and forth as they take tourists off to the magnificent temples that lie along the banks of the Nile. The island is also a major bird area in the vicinity 
For the Nile itself is on the migration route from the birds of Europe and the Russian steppes down to the sunnier climes of Africa. The channels on the land side of the island offer good fishing for the locals and this is obviously what attracts the birds that are migrating through. The island also offers good grazing to the selected few cattle that are allowed to graze there. There are many skinks and other reptiles on the island, but thankfully no snakes, so you need to keep your eyes open when you're walking around. A walk along the waterfront in the evening is a most pleasant experience, and you can stop and watch the sun go down. And if you want to have the full Nile experience, the hotel will arrange, if you wish, to have a trip out on the Nile in a traditional felucca. To cope with the size of the island, there are many swimming pools and bathing areas. The complex is well thought out. Some people will want an exciting splasher day holiday. Others want to be more restful and quiet. So the island has several swimming pools catering for all tastes. The infinity pool seems to be the most popular of all the pools and with views like this you can see why. You're never far from history and just across the Nile here from Luxor is the Valley of the King. Whichever pool you choose to sunbathe at, they all have restaurants and bar service. If you have children with you, there's plenty for them to do. Not just the pool area for the children, and they do have a play area, there's also a small zoo. There's a variety of animals, including monkeys, and they also have some white pelicans there as well. The hotel has spent a lot of money refurbishing the older rooms and building the new complex which includes three royal villas.
The new complex has its own swimming pool and bathing area and also a children's pool. Each villa has its own swimming pool, so you have complete privacy. Yes, the Jolieville has something for everyone. 